The last time we were together, Dr. Kim Laura and I discussed the importance of taking supplements, even if you're eating a healthy diet. Today we're going to share with you a little bit about the different types of supplements, how they're made up, and uh, even make some recommendations for you. So thanks again for joining us, Dr. Kim. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Good to have you. I guess the first thing we need to discuss a little bit is the difference between uh, what we would say is a synthetic or a fractionated vitamin versus mm -hmm. a whole food supplement. So can you talk to us a little bit about sure. that? Sure. Whole food is exactly like it sounds. The entire fruit, the entire vegetable, the entire entity of that supplement, it's put in with all of its cofactors as a complex. Therefore, it's more absorbable. Mm -hmm. It's more utilizable by the body. It's delivered to the proper cells in the proper time. Unlike synthetic or fraction vitamins where individual components of the supplement are taken from all different sources and all different amounts and made in a lab as a as a vitamin which really there's nothing natural about synthetic vitamins sure. the whole food is definitely a better choice so you're not picking up a bottle and looking on the back and seeing a thousand milligrams of vitamin c and then in no. the parentheses they have to put ascorbic acid because it's really not vitamin C, it's just exactly. a part of the vitamin C complex. We're actually getting that whole vitamin C complex from the foods that's in the supplements, is that correct? Exactly, you don't wanna just extract from this vegetable or this source, you want the entire whole food concentrate into that supplement and that makes it much healthier, much more absorbable and utilizable by the body. Well that makes a lot of sense. Now, I guess to utilize something in this sense and get it to where you're getting enough of those nutrients, do you have to take a whole lot of it or can you take you know, a small portion of it and maybe you can discuss uh, what would be a good multivitamin to take or what you would recommend? Um, what we recommend in our office, and I even take myself personally, is something called General Health Fundamentals. And uh, we have a little sample of it right here. It comes in a box like this with a little packet that you can conveniently put in your purse or in your bag, your briefcase. And what I love about it, it's very complete. It contains a multivitamin called Catalin, which is derived from vegetable roots, which is the most potent and the yeah. most um, beneficial part of the fruit, actually, um, to get into the body, as well as uh, trace minerals, which are something very important for absorption, has your Excellent. iron, selenium, manganese, things like that, as well as an omega-3 fatty acid uh, from tuna omega oil, which again is pure, organic, tested for toxins. Um, so this is a really convenient way to get all the nutrients you need without having to go to a store and pick this bottle, that bottle, and not know what you're getting. You know you have a good whole food absorbable source right here in this box. That's a great idea, and it doesn't look like these, these pills are all that big. They look like they're relatively easy to take, and you said the dosage on this is just two packets a two day? Two packets a day, um, especially if you're active, you're in sports, you are you know you might be under stress at work, you want to get more nutrients than just some sedentary person who's um, not really you know expending a lot of energy that day. But two packets is the general recommendation, and okay. the pill size is great, very easy to take, very easy to swallow. Excellent. And I noticed one of the things that you did recommend in here or that came in the packet was the omega-3s. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of confusion on omega-3s and whether I should take, you know, a fish oil supplement mm -hmm. or the omega-3s individually. Um, and I hear a lot of things about toxins in the omega-3s mm -hmm. as well and the different types of fish oils. And so can mm -hmm. you discuss that a little bit? Sure. It's a legitimate concern. When you um, are talking about fish, you want to know where the fish came from. <laughs> um, yeah. Are they toxic? Some, you know, sources have mercury, different heavy metals in the in the water. So this is uh, fresh tuna oil that is from a farm in um, Standard Process, Wisconsin, their company there. They are daily doing tests for any type of toxin, any type of heavy metal. So it's really pure, really clean. You're not gonna have to worry about any type of toxins. And what's excellent about it, it really helps with brain health, focus, concentration, cardiovascular mm -hmm. benefit, mm -hmm. um, and joint health as well. Um, it's great for children, it's great for adults, and it should be included in any multivitamin and I know regimen. with our elderly population mm -hmm. is concerned about Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm. there's lots of studies that show that taking some omega-3s can really reduce the incidence or the mm -hmm. onset of Alzheimer's. Is that correct? It is correct. And just e in everyday life, I know I don't want to get my memory, <laughs> losing my memory or becoming sure. uh, not sharp. I want to be sharp and focused, and uh, it helps, you know, for the young, for the old, and it helps prevent Alzheimer's yeah. and other types so of So if you're not getting two to three or four servings of those good fish that we discussed, mm -hmm. the tuna and the salmon and things like mm -hmm. that per week, then you really should be supplementing with an omega-3. Absolutely. Very good. Um, I guess 
guess another type of multi that some people talk about are taking the greens. Mm -hmm. And I know we have the greens first here. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times when I talk to people about taking a green powder or product, first thing they go, oh, I tried one of those and they taste horrible. And so uh, we found this green first product that we use in the office and it mm -hmm. even says in the label, tastes great. And they're not lying, it actually mm -hmm. does taste pretty good. I know you give it to your kids as well, mm -hmm. is that right? It really does taste good. And, and mm -hmm. I've tasted some of the ones that make you want to gag and it's powdery and it yeah. has a very bitter taste. This tastes very good and it's equivalent to 15 servings of fruits and vegetables. And I know that is great for me because I have five people in my family. I don't feel like chopping 75 <laughs> servings <laughs> of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. That's a lot. And you, it's ensuring that you're getting the proper antioxidants to fight off disease. Um, you're getting good digestive enzymes, probiotics, uh, a multitude of green vegetables that you wouldn't even find in the grocery store to, yeah. to benefit your health. And I know this one also has some of the sea vegetables, the uh, chlorella and the spirulina. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this, much like standard process, all these come from certified organic whole food sources. Uh, this even contains some of the probiotics and mm -hmm. some enzymes and some fiber and such. So this is really good. Uh, it has all your whole food multivitamin, mineral, mm -hmm. antioxidants, all in one product. So uh, it's a great product for everyone to use. I know I take it myself every day as well. So do I. I take it every day. It's also gluten-free, sugar-free, um, doesn't have any other, you know, the source of the vegetables are very pure, no pesticides or any type of harmful chemicals. So I recommend it as a part of um, a daily regimen for your vitamins and your general health. Very good. Well, that's excellent information, Dr. Kim. Thank Thanks you. for coming and joining us here today. Well, I guess the lesson we should take from that is that even if we're eating a good diet full of um, good fresh fruits and vegetables and lean meats, that we still need to take our supplements. And using something like the uh, Daily Fundamentals or the Greens First is a great way to add those whole food vitamin, mineral, and antioxidants into your diet. Uh, if you have any further questions regarding these products, don't hesitate to talk to one of your doctors. Or if you're interested in going a little farther and doing a nutritional consultation, just grab one of our staff and they'd be happy to get that scheduled for you. Mm -hmm.